Major, I wondered whether you'd really call. Exer, I presume this was your doing. Do you like my gift? I've been searching a long time for this. It is what you were looking for, yes. The winged dagger of a comrade lost to the sands of Egypt. He served under the boss back in Rayforce. I delivered this pin to her after his death. We were both so very young. From that moment on, she never let it leave her side. She was still carrying it in Salino Yarsk. How about the back? Hmm. Ah. Something wrong, Major? Nothing, just pricked my finger. The back? The scar is there, just as I remember it. And this white stitching on the back. From the white berets the SAS wore in the early days. Ah. Major? 30th of December, 1941. It's the inscription I made the day he died. Of course. His body was never recovered. This pin badge is the closest thing he has to a gravestone. When I gave it to her, she just kept on running her finger over the inscription. Never again, she uttered, as if reprimanding herself for his death. She pressed hard, embedding the inscription itself into her finger. You see, it's why this spot on the back looks shinier than the rest. He was our brother in arms. So? Yes, it's real. Thank you. There's no doubt about it. Good. Now I have no regrets. What do I owe you? Nothing. Just want to talk for a moment. Very well, then. It's about our man, Major. He's been making some moves. Miller? Yes, I know. Rhodesia, is it? Yes, and up to his old tricks again. No matter. He'll stumble soon enough. Mm. Although he is under my jurisdiction now. And that's what you want to talk about? Not exactly. You see, my being here has made me realize I can still be of use to you. How so? This country is rich with biological resources. Bacteria, nematodes, viruses. I'm sure we can find something here to bring that plan back into action. Forget it. The Cleanser Project was just another one of my predecessor's daydreams. And the vocal cord parasites? Were an excellent test case for reverse evolution. Nothing more. What matters now is the genetics technology behind that work. With genetics, the clumsiness in targeting an entire race isn't an issue. We can target specific individuals. No need to breed multiple generations of parasite just to get results. But I... Don't be quaint, Exo. Once the Cold War is over, our enemies won't be so clearly defined. Using humans alone won't be enough. An electronic network will span the globe, and our enemies will blend right into it. You may be right, but will people really settle for an enemy they can't see? Men want to feel righteous, need to see the evil in the enemy they fear. Without it, they'll turn their aggressions inward, find an enemy inside. You know this is true. I see what you're saying. Just as those robbed of their parasites develop allergies and autoimmune diseases, a man robbed of his enemy develops self-destructive tendencies. And I know all the symptoms. Ethnic conflict, religious strife, terrorism. And with asymmetrical conflict, deterrence is a joke. That's why we must depend on information control. People need an appropriate context for their lives. A context that's stimulating without being destructive. That balance is the basis of equilibrium. You mean to say people will blindly accept your context without developing any... Allergies. If we're to unite the world, literacy must be suppressed. To suppress the information immune system, 
to borrow your metaphor. Immunity to information. But to ensure there's no allergic reaction, while the immune system fights off parasites and pathogens. It's done, Exo. This world will become one. I have found the way. The world that the boss envisioned will finally become a reality. Race, tribal affiliations, national borders, even our faces will be irrelevant. The nature of communication itself will change, and it will make mankind whole again. Some things can't be undone. My face was taken from me. There's no taking that back. A face means nothing when one's soul is able to communicate directly with another. I have no intention of hiding behind your technological veil, Major. I wear my broken visage, this skull, in the open, so that I may never forget what I've lost. You. What are you? The chain of retaliation is what will truly bind this world together as one. Ah. Yeah. Oh. Major. You son of a... The pin. You... Yes, the pin. Yeah. Ah. this all along had your own agenda all these years yeah now you see the world can never truly become one but the boss I've been you've been wrong You're no different, just like him. None of you understand the world she saw. I would say the same to you, Major. Uh. <laughs> you steal it all away. Everything. The boss said the same thing. Only, I understood what she meant. Major, I'll handle the rest. Oh, and one more thing. That pin badge, it was a fake. I held on to the real one. I'll take good care of it. And continue the boss's work. Oh, my God. 